A state agency finds that a Las Vegas charter school broke several laws when it failed to pay back $800,000 in taxpayer funds. Now, this school on Sahara near Eastern was shut down. Eight News Now Education reporter Joshua Baguero with the state's efforts to get that money back. Eagle Charter School opened in August of 2023. They pitched themselves as another option for families in the east side of Las Vegas. Yet, in less than a year, the State Public Charter School Authority closed Eagle. Charter schools, often the reason why they um, will fail is due to fiscal mismanagement. Dr. Megan Grifford is a UNLV professor of education. She was a witness in the agency's hearing this month to shut down Eagle, citing financial mismanagement. There is just a lot of debt here, and the plan to recoup that debt by massively increasing enrollment is just not realistic. The agency ruled that Eagle violated several state laws. It all stems from an overpayment the Nevada Department of Education made to Eagle last year of $837,000. This was due to inflated enrollment numbers Eagle submitted to the state. Instead of returning the money, Eagle spent it. Kara Hendricks is the school's attorney. They really want to find a way to, re to get those funds repaid. The only way that they can do that is to re remain open. If the school is shut down and not allowed to continue, the NDE is not going to get that money back. The closure of Eagle Charter School most importantly impacted 300 plus students that were enrolled to attend this school year. Now, according to Eagle's own data, 26% of those students were considered homeless. The state is moving forward with seizing Eagle's assets and figuring out how taxpayers will be repaid the $837,000. Reporting in Saharan Eastern, Joshua Piguero, 8 News Now. Since 2021, the state public charter school authority says it has closed one school, and that is Eagle Charter School.